Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy. This is a video I never imagined myself making. I'm going to be reacting to just an insane take by Shroud on Mice that even made me think he was cloned. I didn't believe in the whole celebrity cloning thing, but this take, um, it will make you curious. So here I've it is. I've been dabbling in just like different mouse pads and stuff. You don't want to dabble in other mouse pads. That is a no-no. That is a big no-no. And I, if you stop there, I'd be like, that's a pretty based clip, you know, that's muscle memory pilled, but it keeps going and it keeps justifying it. So I'm making this video because I feel like I have to um, clear up maybe some of Shroud's misconceptions that could like leak out onto the um, general mouse using populace at large. Like when, and what makes this a hilarious take is he's playing with tens at the time, like who's buy, obviously like for example, known for switching buy, peripherals. Like, uh, like when you buy, like for example, if you buy like a... Uh, if you buy a Logitech mouse, you use a Logitech mouse pad. If you use, if you buy a, whatever, Razer mouse, you buy a Razer mouse pad. Because they test for their own stuff. So if you like dabble and you want to be curious and try different stuff and try different skates, like you, yeah, you change your skates, it's GG. Your mouse sensor is going to be wrong. It's going to be all fucked up. Because it's not, that's how they test them, right? They don't test them on all products. They just test them on some. So that's the take, and I honestly, I could be getting trolled, but there a lot of that is just straight like company talking points, and I'm gonna even give you guys an example. So with mousepad compatibility, where he says if you have a Logitech mouse, you gotta use Logitech pad, Razer mouse, Razer pad. Um, first things first, with Razer, they literally, one of the selling points on their new sensor is that it's compatible with any surface, just like random fucking slabs of glass. Um, so at least with Razer, I mean, honestly, a lot of products, you're not going to experience any incompatibility. Let's say like Logitech's G640, it's just a basic cloth pad. Like there's no reason that a super light is going to perform better on that than it would say an Artisan Zero. And unfortunately, if you do follow Shroud's school of thought on this, you're not ever going to be able to use an artist and mouse pad because what mouse is going to be the counterpart and i actually did have razor um back in the day i mean i figure i can leak this they were telling me at the time the um razor strider released um that they were pretty much saying the same thing shroud said that this tracks extremely well with our mice it was designed for razor mice but i just take a step back and i'm like maybe razor is saying that because it's in their best interest to have people buy their mouse pads or Maybe they actually did the testing. It did perform well, but the Strider is just the same as the Zowie GTFX, which has been out for a decade. So it's like, we really, we need to be critical. And if you are a super mouse schizo and you know what a squall value is, that basically tracks how well um, a sensor performs on a different surface. So this is a real thing. What Shroud's saying does have merit to it, but unfortunately, like, there's just no, like, real application. Like, every mouse, pretty much every mouse is going to be compatible with every, like, cloth textile pad. Like, it's just a fact of the matter. Well, you, may, maybe you won't get the 99.9% .9 tracking that's promised. You'll get, like, 99.8. But it's really, like, if you're using a mouse, you're not matching brands like it's fucking fashion and you're starting to freak out. Like, there's no reason to be freaked out. And Shroud had another take on this that was like, it was just anti-ninjutsu mice. I wanna find that. Also his thing at the end about mouse skates not working, I find that's hilarious. Not, that's how they test them, right? Like there's just this entire category of products and it just practically doesn't fucking exist. Like don't put them on your mice, they're gonna fuck up the sensor. So it's really just like, it's parroting company talking points to a level that is like almost parody. Um, and yeah, I just found this clip incredible. Okay, I found the clip. He's talking to Tens about the Ninjutsu Sora V2, a mouse that I recently reviewed. I think it's like 30, 39 grams or 40. Is this fucking Ninja's mouse or something? It's uh, called... It's, from, it's a cold it's line. It's from a company called uh, Ninjutsu. Ninjutsu? Look at how quickly his face, like he was doing something with his lip, and then he hears the Asian name and he's just like fucking mean mugging. He's thinking about his next line. I don't want to say this on his stream, but that can't be a good mouse. I'm sorry, that just can't. <clears throat> I honestly, like, I do respect that mouse review style. I wish I could do that for, like, half of my reviews. Just, it doesn't pass the vibe check. There's no way this thing could be good. Um, I, I can't even, like, th this quote take is even crazier because, like, there's no substance to really break down. He just hears the mouse's name and he's like, nah, that's no good. Um, so if anybody was following Shroud, he was their favorite peripheral advisor. Um, I would recommend swapping that role over to me. Um, and yeah, that's really all I have to say. I don't hate Shroud. He, like, there's that type of guy where it's like, oh yeah, he seems like he'd be fun to hang out with. I don't think that's Shroud, um, personally, but, um, he's doing his thing. He's a guy. Um, but I, I don't agree with his recent takes on peripherals and just wanted to get my opinion out there. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Peace out.